Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team at Road to Glory. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the HD60S Plus, the key lights, the green screen, the multi-mount, all of the tools that I am using to create my content. If you guys are aspiring content creators looking for the best products in the game, I highly recommend these. Uh, then check down below in the description to my Elgato profile page where you can learn more uh, and support the channel, which is awesome. So, uh, if you do enjoy Enjoy the start of the episode. Do me a massive favor. Hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, and of course, don't forget to sub to the channel if you're new. Click the notification bell. All of that good stuff uh, so you never miss an upload. So we're missing a couple of spots in the starting 11, aren't we? And that is simply because, obviously, controversially, we sold Messi in yesterday's video. Now, um, yeah, I know a lot of there were a lot of you out there that obviously would have preferred me to, to keep Messi. Um, but, you know, just... See what we do in today's episode and, and judge it off of that, will you? Now, um, the weekly objectives are here. And uh, if you can do the bronze, silver, and gold weekly objectives this week, you are really going to fire through the first few levels of the season pass in season two. Uh, because we've done uh, silver, by the way. You can just do it against your mates uh, super quick. Five, ten minutes and you'll be done. Uh, and then help each other out so that you can obviously get that done. Move on into gold. Uh, and uh, a lot of these are based around sort of rivals. But I found that... I don't know whether I was lucky that my team is how it is, um, but I got a lot of this stuff done, and you'll see it in this episode, simply from just playing the game. We play three games in today's episode, and I get all bar one uh, of those gold challenges done, which is a squad battles one, so I couldn't have done it in the rivals anyway. Um... But as you can see, by getting through a few of those levels, we actually literally do zoom through uh, to level 7 or 8 or something in the season pass. Now, I chose... I didn't really know what to choose here. I ended up choosing the autumnal one. I don't know. Let me know what you chose down below in the comment section. Uh, it's got a little nut on it. I d don't know really why I picked that one over the others, but hey, we did. Uh, and then, well, uh, we end up getting ourselves some sort of gold pack. What one is it? It's a jumbo premium gold pack. Can we get anything good from a 15k pack that is given to us for free for reaching a certain level? Well, we're about to see right now. We'll go on into the store. We'll open up our jumbo premium gold pack. No Knowing that at the start of this series, I got Eden Hazard in one of these. Uh, oh no, wait. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're just gonna get a, uh, a non-rare gold. Uh, it's Donati. Uh, fair enough. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. Uh, yeah, and uh, this time not so good. But untradeable players that are useful for you. Who knows what? Anyway, time to move on. Time to start buying some players. Pick myself up a Kante. Finally, I get Kante. I've been wanting this guy for ages. Uh, I wanted to bring in some expensive players to to, uh, to the squad. Um, but I also wanted to maintain some of our coin balance because you never know what's going to happen with the market. Uh, knowing that we've got another set of Road to the Finals coming up later in this week, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we've also got um, Black Friday coming up in a couple of weeks or whenever it is. So it's like, it, it's dangerous times to spend coins on this game. So I, so I decided to be stupid enough to go and buy two players that are currently out of packs and have road to the final cards anyway uh, and I'm sure Mane and Kante are both going to drop like a rock by the time their road to the finals are out of packs and the regulars go back in however they both dropped crazy amounts after the weekend league uh, to what they normally are kind of at so I was happy to buy them we buy a UCL Robertson as well because he wasn't that much different to his regular gold card uh, and I'm going to try out the four triple two so so, what we've currently got here is a brand new squad. It's got a new formation. We brought in three new players in Mane, Kante, uh, and uh, UCL Robertson. And uh, what that's done is actually left us with over 500,000 coins. So, yeah, Messi may be gone. But what we have got is uh, we've got Mane to go up front now. And um, he has got more pace than Messi. Obviously, he's not as good at dribbling and his shooting is going to be not as good. Um, but I think that he could also work just as well in this game. So, in order to test that out, we shall go into some division rivals and play at my highest skill rating ever. First game, first opponent... Kante, Neymar, UCL Live, uh, Usman Dembele, very jealous of that. Uh, and just some other good cards. So uh, you, you're going to see in these matches just how we get on. So Mane is going to be our left 
striker I think I've got it set as and then Mbappe is the right striker which is obviously like my preferred uh, Griezmann as one of my cams I think left cam at the moment Usman as my right cam and uh, and, and we're going to try out this 4 triple 2 we're going to see see how things are going in this new squad and we actually get a uh, we get a goal for PK. Uh, we go 1-0 up after 20 minutes in this match. Uh, obviously, we earned the corner from taking a shot, but um, the, the the header from PK was was like FIFA 19-esque. It actually had power behind it. And I don't know don't know how and why and what and where that's came from, but uh, I'll take it. Anyway, we steal the ball right off a kickoff, uh, and I go uh, on the on the offensive to try and get another goal. Griezmann knocks it into Mane here, sticks it in the back of the net. Uh, somehow, I think I was just offside there. It kind of didn't look like it because as the defender was moving uh, moving backwards, I was moving forwards. It transitioned, and uh, I would have said that, that was offside, uh, onside almost, but uh, it was obviously, you know, the game doesn't lie in that fact so it was obviously offside and we miss we don't get our first goal on his debut for Sadio Mane yet uh, anyway we get a goal to go 2-0 up very dodgy very lucky one uh, with with Usman Dembele and then here's the chance this is Mane's chance to to open his account for the road to glory he gets a goal and it's looked like it's going to actually force a rage quit from my opponent after 38 minutes uh mané in the footwiz kit you love to see it i really like the kit by the way guys uh footwiz if you're watching love your kit looks great uh, i'd love a real life one please that would be that would be very very nice anyway we get a uh we get a rage quit there so the four triple twos worked the new squad is playing well i tell you what Oh my god, having Kante is a breath of fresh air. The guy is insanely good. I, 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 for the longest time, obviously, we've been using Taliso, Sissoko, other players like that that are a little bit clunky. Um, but to have, uh, to, to have like a... a He's, I don't know, he kind of feels like a ball player because he's so small and agile and stuff. Um, obviously, he's still very defensive-minded, but that, that's fine, you know, because we're actually playing the 4 triple two now, so I need Pep and I need Kante to be two CDMs, and then I need my cams to be, uh, like, flare players and stuff like that and, and, and have either good pace or good dribbling and stuff. Uh, and, and then, obviously, my strikers are very, very, very fast, very agile. Mbappe, Mane, they fit the bill for that, don't they? Um... I would say Mane comes across uh, to me as more of a, like a explosive striker than what like Messi was. Messi's super agile, crazy dribbling, like technically gifted um, with a wand of a left foot. Uh, but Mane, I'm hoping, is a little bit like Mbappe, which can play through the through the delay, through the you know through the through the rubbish that happens on this game every now and again. Uh, where actually all you need to do is just sprint and uh, hopefully get a little bit lucky with a bounce. Get ahead of those defenders, run down the line, and and score the goal. So that's what I'm hoping will happen, uh, and uh, that is exactly why we've brought him in. Uh, and of course, because he's so much cheaper than Messi, uh, we've we've been able to upgrade our midfielder to Kante. Uh, I would say left back upgrade to Robertson is an upgrade over Mendy. We've still got Mendy in our club, actually. Can sell him on now, probably make a little bit of our money back. Um, although he's a UCL player, and with the with the new. Uh, Icon swap stuff. It, maybe he's actually gone up in value. Maybe a lot of people are, are after him. I'll have to check actually and see if we can make a little bit of decent profit on him. Uh, anyway, we're one nil up in this match, and Mbappe is 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 primed and ready to to stick it in the back of the net to make it two nil. Uh, so brilliant you know he, he's still firing on all cylinders i thought for a minute i was going to sell him as well and then i looked at his price and he's actually plummeted <laughs> uh, i bought him for 914k or something and he's been over that since i've owned him but obviously since going into packs again after his inform and uh, and also since the market seemed to just drop like a rock after the weekend league um what we have is is, is a Mbappe sitting at around 830,000 coins that to me is, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be selling him for for that low. No, there's no way, right? I can't, I can't let him go for that. He's just too good. Uh, next episode, I sold Mbappe. Oh god, it's going to happen now, isn't it? Yeah, we called it on the messy one a couple of episodes ago, um, and uh, no, I, I, I currently don't have any intentions to sell Mbappe. I hope. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen going forwards? Anyway, we're three-one up in this game. Every time I scored. Um, 
the opponent seemed to get a, a kickoff goal. We end up keeping it at a 3-2 victory, which is nice. Means that we've uh, we've got a couple of decent wins there, you know. Uh, and, and that's going to... That's going to be two games, two wins, one of which is a rage quit. Four triple twos feeling good. We're at our highest skill rating ever, so something's going right. You know, we had an awful weekend league. So, theoretically, I would have been coming into my highest skill rating ever and then just getting relegated because I'm playing so bad. But, coming back into it, fresh set, fresh mindset, fresh team, uh, things are looking pretty good. However, the, the Division 3 rewards that we're going to get this week, they're not going to be as good as uh, Division 4. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but yeah, like Division 4 seem to have much better Rank 2 rewards. I, I prefer them anyway. Uh, but that, look at this. We are, we are a couple away from completing uh, Week 1 Gold. Um, so buzzing about that and we actually get to past level eight or nine or whatever it was to get a jumbo premium gold 26 pack whatever that mean i guess 26 items in the pack uh, i'm not sure uh, but we're going to go ahead and open it right now 26 gold seven rare um i i don't know why there's more why is there more like things in that pack uh, who knows anyway we get ourselves a board player from this pack from the objectives which is really nice we get german right mid from Bayern, which is actually going to be serge nabry which i'm pretty happy about that's a nice first owner to go along with uh gets a strong link to either taliso lewandowski uh, have a, so I've got all of those players first owner. So we're looking pretty good for first owner Bundesliga players um, for that part of the objectives for icon swap. So that should be one that we could do fairly easily. I'm going to say easily like we're at our highest skill rating ever only because we are using our main squad. Um, we're going to upgrade that squad a little bit again right now actually. We're going to buy ourselves bail back again. Uh, Usman Dembele. Those wide cams in the 4 triple 2 use quite a lot of stamina. Uh, I think Bale's going to be more of an asset there than Usman is. So that's why we've brought him in. Obviously, we can use Bale right now. He doesn't need to get strong links to anyone like, or, or anything. Um, and and we, we can potentially sell Usman Dembele again. Uh, or maybe we keep him as a super sub. Who knows? I've bought and sold him so much that at this point, I'm I, maybe I should just keep him. I, I don't know. But we're going to go uh, engine on Bale in the right mid spot. And he is going to play as one of our camps. We're actually going to flip him and Griezmann. Uh, Bale's got loads of pace, right? So uh, I want him on the left-hand side, his strong foot side, so that he can sprint down the line should he want to and then cut that ball across using his strong foot. Griezmann, slower, dribbly, that type of player. Um, he can he can stop, he can cut inside, he can dribble, you can hit a left foot finesse shot. That's what I want from him. So that's why we've swapped the players around and then obviously we're still sticking with Mane and Mbappe up top. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about our squad right now. We could get back over 500,000 coins I'm pretty sure if we were to sell Usman Dembele and uh, Furlon Mendy who are just chilling in the club right now uh, we've also got like an inform Munayin uh, that is that is in the club as well but did you see that goal right there did you see the cross from Bale I pressed LB as I crossed that, which is a lofted cross, which is going to get us one of the gold weekly objectives done. So that is the final Rivals one completed. Uh, all I have to do now in order to get a couple more thousand XP is to simply win a couple of squad battles matches on Professional. And I'm sure I'll get them done. Um, kill two birds with one stone type thing when I complete some squad battles for the uh, the the icon swap objective. So uh, we'll get that done eventually. Um one thing Bale doesn't have is a right foot, as you can see by that volley right there. Usman probably would have scored that. But look at my opponent's miss right at the end. I, ca I actually can't believe he misses that to get the equaliser, to, to, to spoil me of not getting a win there. I, I actually can't believe that he's missed that, that shot. It was, uh, oh my god. Uh, I actually literally went into the highlights after the game to take a look because I was blown away. I should not have won that game. My opponent was probably better than me uh, and had more opportunities than me. Um, but yeah, we, we still come away. So three games, three wins, 1700 skill rating, which uh, the, the, the smart amongst you will realize that that equals division two. Oh god. Why have I put myself up here? Why have I got up here when when icon swaps have just come out and I've got to do objectives and get wins using teams that aren't as good as my current team? Uh, I don't know. Uh, at this point, icon swaps weren't out. 
I'll show them to you, and I'm sure you can see them on console. I'll show them to you uh, in the next episode. But what we did, what we did reach is level 10. And uh, if you didn't know about level 10, it's a couple of TFOs, or you can take 7,500 coins. 7,500 coins, that's good, right? Uh, and as much as I would have liked the FIFA 95 TFO, uh, I just prefer 7,500 coins. If that TFO was on the market, I wouldn't pay 7,500 coins for it. Therefore... Uh, we will pick up ourselves just some free coins. Why not, right? You know, it covers some EA tax from the messy sale and all of that stuff. Uh, so, hey, why not just take the coins? Uh, I could use them, right? Uh, whenever. It's, coins are good. Coins are valuable. Um, anyway, so Mane's got four goals in three games so far. Really good start for him. Um, Griezmann's playing well. I love that... What I like about the 4 triple 2 at the moment as opposed to the 4 4 2 is that I've got my two CDMs sitting a little bit further back. Kante doing amazing work. God's work he's doing. He's, he's brilliant right now. Uh, and then instead of being super wide and not getting so involved, those wide players, what they're doing is they're a little bit further in, a little bit closer to the strikers, filling that gap in the middle a little bit more, but still being wide players and they're getting involved. So Bale got an assist on his debut uh, and looks lively. Griezmann is just coming into the frame and I love that we've got him first owner uh this is the happiest i've been with my team in a in a very long time might be the happiest i've ever been with my team uh so things things are good you know i think upgrading so that we've finally got that kante player in the middle which is so important this year might mean that we've got the best midfield we've ever had now him and pep uh doing defensive midfield work is uh is is nice it really is it truly is so uh happy to bring kante in um Happy to have <clears throat> spent a bunch of money in today's episode, spent a lot of that messy money, but we've kept about half a million coins. 400 to 500,000 coins we still have in our club. Should we want to do, I don't know, like what we got, like League Un Player of the Month at some point? You know, people are hoping that's Ben Yedda. If that is Ben Yedda, if he does come, then maybe we've got a player that we could get there and, 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 and put him at Cam or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is that is going to wrap up today's episode, boys. Uh some expensive players have come in. Uh, we finally got ourselves Kante, which I am actually buzzing about. He is a great, great player. Uh, there is a huge potential that we could lose money on players like Kante and Mane simply because their current gold cards aren't in packs at the moment. Later on the week, they're going to get flooded again with the new set of Road to the Final cards coming out, uh, and they could drop like a rock. Who knows? Uh, if it looks like it's a, a better idea to sell them and buy them back later on, maybe we'll do that. Uh, but for right now, they are staying put. I, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the squad as it is with 500,000 coins to spend though when's lastly going to get himself an icon on the uh, on the rtg who knows that could happen any day either as well i've got uh, ideas coming out left right and center i, I just i want to try all of these players um but there's not enough spaces to put them in anyway guys that's going to wrap things up Hit me with a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget my Elgato link is down below in the description for all of you uh, content creators out there that are aspiring to have uh, some of the best equipment in the game. I promise you. It's awesome. Uh, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are down below. Have a wonderful day, you lot. And I'll catch you ne uh, next time tomorrow with another episode. Peace.